Hey folks, my name is Tim Collins, and on today's episode of Vibes History, we are going to listen to Cal Jader play an amazing vibraphone solo on a tune called Viva Cepeda. This is from his 1959 record for the fantasy label called Latin Concert. It features Vince Giraldi on piano, Al McKibben on the bass, Mungo Santa Maria on the congas, and Willie Bobo on bongos and percussion. It's a great album from beginning to end, and this is the opening track. So, let's get into the tune. minor G flat bridge that's B flat 7 C7 D7 D flat 7 Alright, we're going to break down the solo in a minute. So, the opening arrangement has all those kicks, and in fact the intro, which I would like to play for you again, starts on the end of four, and the, and the phrase that you hear is... Now that last hit, it's actually the resolution of a giant tension building rhythmic phrase. You don't hear anybody explicitly playing clave in this piece, but it is in 2-3 clave. If you listen to the, to the timbali player, the rhythm that you hear in the background is dun 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 one, two, one. And that's a 2-3 cascara rhythm, and the 2-3 clave within that is this. All right, so I'm going to clap that, and you'll hear it's going to be very syncopated up until the last bar. There's a big hit on the end of two. It sounds like this. Right there. So that whole thing is sort of crossed with the clave, and it builds tension, builds tension, builds tension, and finally we get that hit on the end of two in the last measure. Great intro. The tune itself, A-A-B-A -A -A structure, pretty straightforward. It's based around an F minor riff, and it's the melody basically consists of F minor and G flat arpeggios, which gives it that sort of flamenco feel. <laughs> In this case, the melody really outlines both of those triads. And then we have 2, 5 in F minor. And then he uses the harmonic minor scale right there. Now one thing I think that is really cool is that Cal Jader is playing the melody starting on the 5th. 5th root 3rd 5th and Vince Giraldi is harmonizing it beneath him on the piano starting from the 3rd so when you put the two of them together you get this <laughs> but having that little arrangement between the two voices the right hand of the piano and the vibes really nice touch the bridge is cool because it goes to these dominant 7th chords that ring for 4 bars each and what you hear is you hear the B flat 7 sus to B flat 7 B flat 7 sus to B flat 7, C7 sus to C7, and that's a very common rhythmic pattern that you hear in Montunos and Afro-Cuban music. So let's listen to Cal Jader's solo, he plays one chorus, and it's a perfect chorus, and there's a lot of stuff in there to break down, so let's check it out. This is coming out of the last A section. Just real pro 
professional work. There's nothing fancy in there, but it's all so tastefully done, which is not easy. And so let's analyze some of the individual phrases. There's really cool stuff in there. Back to the beginning of the vibe solo. We have that break. And there's a cadence on F minor, and then Cal plays a two-bar break. And what he actually does there is he uses the C7 chord as a basis to find the half-whole diminished scale. Which is a really cool sounding scale. It's a scale that includes the flat 9, the sharp 9, the 3rd, the sharp 11, the 5th, the natural 13, the 7, flat 7, and the root. And it's just a great shape. So listen to that phrase and then I'll demonstrate it on the vibes. And he lands on right on the 3, 4, 5, 3 on the F minor. But that phrase right before. After that run, he sort of just arpeggiates the F minor. So it's like. He does a half step approach to the fifth on the F minor, and then he plays a blues phrase. That's straight up blues. Using these intervals of the fourth, starting on the fifth on the F minor. So fifth root, eleventh, flat seventh, or this is the fourth, whatever you want to think of it. Grace note approaches, blues. So that right there. Something like this. Now the chord here you have to remember is B flat 7 and Cal Jader what he does is he starts his line on F and he's sort of still thinking F minor shapes. Then you have this moving line and if you sort of keep the F minor on the top, I mean he's not playing exactly that but that's the ballpark that he's in in terms of jamming around with the combinations of notes and it sounds really cool and actually listen to what happens in the upcoming chords because he does the same thing on each one of those dominant seventh chords here it is right here That one he so that one he started from below and went up. So we're on D7 and he goes. The last A section. So that's using F melodic minor. We're on F minor to G flat, but he's playing, actually he's playing a C triad in second inversion. So that's very, <laughs> woo, that's very dramatic sounding. And the phrase on vibraphone sounds like this. And then he finishes off with some blues. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.